We will be using the Windows Live Photo Gallery to edit our photos. If you open Windows Live Photo Gallery with me during the introduction of this tutorial, you will recall that we have pinned it to the Start menu. In order to access the Start menu, we will first click on the Start button, which is this button down here in the bottom left hand corner of our screen. After I've clicked on the Start button one time, I will then go up and click on Windows Live Photo Gallery. That's going to open the program that we will be using to edit our photos. Once we have opened the program, we are now ready to edit our photos. Before we edit our photos, we first need to open a photo. There are two ways to open a photo. We can first click on a photo once, and then press the Enter key on our keyboard, or we can double click on a photo to open it. Once a photo is open, we are now ready to edit it. We will need to use our editing tools, which can be found up here towards the top. At first, we are going to look at adjusting both the color and the exposure. We can adjust these manually, as well as we can use a button called Auto Adjust. Auto Adjust is going to automatically adjust both the color and the exposure settings for us. So I'm first going to click on the Auto Adjust button. Notice how it lightens the photo as well as it adjusts some of the color settings. If you'd like to adjust the photo manually, you can now do so by clicking on Fine Tune. Once we click on Fine Tune, we will now see these four tools in addition. Adjust Exposure, Adjust Color, Straighten Photo, and Adjust Detail. We're first going to look at adjusting the exposure. If I click on Adjust Exposure, you will now see this menu expand. Brightness, Contrast, Shadows, and Highlights. We can adjust each of these manually using what's called a slider bar. You will see that we have this horizontal line, as well as a small rectangle on top of it. That's called a slider bar. And in order to move a slider bar, you'll need to position the mouse so that the tip of the arrow is in the center of the rectangle. I can now hold down the left click and slide the bar from left to right. In this case, if I slide the bar to the left, we will be decreasing the brightness, whereas if I slide the bar to the right, we will be increasing the brightness. I can also do the same with contrast. Contrast is simply the measure between the dark areas of the photo and the light areas of the photo. So if I take the bar to the right, I will be increasing that contrast, which means I will be making the dark areas darker and the light areas lighter, whereas if I slide the bar to the left, I will be doing the opposite. The dark areas will become lighter and the light areas will become darker. We can also do the same with shadows. Shadows is going to concentrate just on the dark areas of the photo. So if I take shadows to the left, I will be making the photo darker, whereas if I slide shadows to the right, I will be making the photo lighter. Finally, we have highlights. If we take highlights to the left, we will be making the photo darker, whereas if we take highlights to the right, we will be making the photo lighter. Once we have finished adjusting the exposure settings, we'll want to close the menu. In order to do so, I'll need to click on the title of the menu, which in this case is Adjust Exposure. So I'll simply click on Adjust Exposure once to collapse or close that menu. I'm now going to open the Adjust Color menu by clicking on Adjust Color one time. You'll now see that we have Temperature, Tint, and Saturation. We're going to move these slider bars in the same way. Once again, to move a slider bar, you'll want to hover your mouse so that the tip of the arrow is in the center of the rectangle, and then you can hold down the left click to move the bar from left to right. In this case, if we take temperature to the left, we're going to be making the photo cooler, which means we're going to be putting more blue hues into the photo. Whereas if we slide the bar to the right, we're making the photo warmer or bringing out the red hues that are in the photo. Tint is going to be the measure of green and purple in our photo. So if I take tint to the left, I'm going to be bringing out the green hues. Whereas if I take tint to the right, I'm going to bring out the purple hues. Finally, we have saturation, which measures the intensity of the color in the photo. If I take saturation to the right, I'm making the color more intense or putting more color into the photo. Whereas if I take saturation to the left, I'm going to be decreasing the intensity and taking color out of the photo. Notice that if I take the bar all the way to the left, the photo is completely black and white. We'll be looking later at how to make a photo black and white, so I'll recommend that we just leave this bar in the middle for now. Once we've finished adjusting the color settings, we can close the menu by clicking on Adjust Color. So I'll click on Adjust Color once and that's going to close the menu. Auto Adjust automatically adjusts the exposure as well as the color settings as well as it straightens the photo. We'll look more at straightening photos later. For now, we're just going to save our changes. 
This program functions a little bit differently than other programs in that there's no file save or any kind of button like that. Instead, we can automatically save our changes either by clicking on close file one time or we can double click on the photo to close it and it's going to automatically save our changes. The first time you close the file you may be presented with a window telling you that your changes have automatically been saved. Later we'll look at how to undo changes as well as how to revert to the original.